All right, I'm gonna tell you, I have seen a lot of musicals in my life. Some are good, some are not good, but the musical Six is genuinely one of the best musicals I've ever seen. Six tells the story of the six wives of King Henry VIII, but in a way that you never have before. The show returns to Chicago tonight at the Nederlander Theater, and I'm joined live by all six incredible actresses <laughs> who make the show so spectacular. Ladies, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Chicago. Um, I, I hate the question, so tell me about the show, because it it's a lazy question, but this is a show that I, I have a hard time explaining to people why it is so special. So how do you guys pitch it to friends and family when you're trying to explain? Because it's it's much more than just the ex-wives of Henry VIII. There's, a, there's an interesting hook to it. Yeah, I'll, okay, I guess I can answer. Yeah, please. Um, it's a pop concert, basically. It's a reclaiming of what we like to call her story. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is familiar with the rhyme, divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't actually know the history behind the six wives. And so we felt like it was really important to bring this story around the U.S. and kind of reclaim that her story. And to your point, you know, when the show was over the first time I saw it, one of the first things I wanted to do was crack open a book and find more because there's yeah. 10,000 books about Henry VIII and not enough books about right. his wives and all the contributions that they made. Mm -hmm. uh, are you guys finding that you're sort of encouraging people to, to get out there and actually learn more about who these women were? Yeah, well, the show is so detailed. Like, there's so much to learn. Like, you can come back two and three times and catch new things about the show that you were like, oh my gosh, I didn't really realize that the first time I saw yeah. it. Um, and so it is, it does encourage people to go home and like, and open a book and decide like what they want to take away from these stories mm -hmm. in each of uh, the Queen's lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, you know, you never hear the perspective of the queens. So right. to come from us um, and, and project that and tell our stories from what we experience. I say we, but, sure. you know, the queens of <laughs> history, what we experience through that is, is not something that normal people see. So. And it also sort of makes you wonder what other moments in history, if we looked at them through different perspectives, yeah. Yeah. maybe we learn a little bit more. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong. Each of you are, I don't want to say, like, modeled after a, a certain famous singer. Or is, is, that a, is that a fair assumption That's that fair. each of you have yeah. a particular style? So can you guys sort of talk about <laughs> sort of uh, maybe uh, approaching it through, okay, I am this person, but you also don't want to copy that person. Right. So, what is, right. so what is the balance? Right. Yeah. Well, they call it a queen inspiration. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Each of our characters in costume, in song, mm -hmm. style, all of that are based off of pop stars from today. Mm -hmm. um, Catherine of Aragon that I play is based on Beyonce. See, I love that. I think that's so right. cool. Right. I was very intimidated to take her on. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a nice amalgamation of what makes us us, but also what makes that pop star powerful, right. what makes that queen historically powerful, and that melds together to create us. I love that. Can we go through who each person is modeled after? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I play Catherine Parr, who I think they say is like a, more based off of Alicia Keys. Yes. Okay, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I play Anne Boleyn, and she's based off of Lily Allen or Avril Lavigne. I really liken her to Demi Lovato, personally. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, I play Jane Seymour. Mm -hmm. She's likened to, like, Sia, but I like to do, like, a Brandy or a Whitney Houston type of queen yes. inspiration in my own interpretation. Um, so, yeah. Cool. I play Catherine Howard, and she is based off of Ariana Grande, Britney Spears. She has the long ponies. Yes, like, I <laughs> love that. <laughs> I play Anna of Cleves, and she's based off of Rihanna, but I like to switch it up, and um, my inspiration is pink. Oh, that's very yeah. cool. Well, obviously, each of you sort of get your own moment in this show, and what I love about it is there's not one person that kind of gets the song and everyone else's. Right. If, is there any other person sitting here who you'd love to trade with for a night, just to sort of know? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. She would love to sing it. She's been really, really good at it. Yeah. Would there I, ever be a night where we just show up and all, and all of a sudden I'm going, wait, they're playing the wrong person? <laughs> well, you know some of them, a lot the of people have been those. alternate. Yeah, some yeah. of us have been alternates in other companies. So they know other tracks. So we've yeah. played three or Fair four possible. tracks. So we really could, like, yeah, we could hop around. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it too loudly. No, it's just between us. I have to be honest with you. So I've got a lot of the songs from the soundtrack on my phone and we'll literally walk around Chicago because it's such a great, like, song. Yeah. Is, yeah. Do you ever listen to your own music, or at this point, do you hear it too much and perform it too? Well, would you ever casually, casually listen to it? Oh yeah, yeah, all the time. Before Still. we yeah, actually before auditioned, was... like a lot of us did that. Yeah. Like we, yeah. now it's you know a little crazy to go home and listen to more things. Sure. <laughs> but before, we yeah, if we were hearing it over and over and over again. That's what gets you excited to even audition right. for the show. Okay. Yeah. You like you want to sing these songs. So I love that. that. Yeah. Well, if you guys need like an alternate, you know, because hey, hey. nothing says telling a story like a woman like a guy yeah. sliding in <laughs> to jump in there.
6th, the musical is at the Nederlander Theater through July 14th. Tickets and information, broadwayinchicago.com. Ladies, thank you. If you see me running throughout the streets of Chicago, pull out my AirPods, and there's a good chance it's going to be your musical.